Hey everybody, um, this here is a Supreme fan, ceiling fan. Um, now this is something very unusual that I've actually never seen before. Um, and I think that these have been found before, but I can't find anything online about them. Uh, so if anybody else has any information about this model, um, I'd be gladly, I'd gladly accept any new information that uh, is out there av available about this. So, um, this is a Supreme model Mark VI. Um, it's a very unusual version, as I mentioned. It's um, unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, but I have seen Supremes that are like this, but not ornate. This one's got an ornate face plate and an ornate nose cap. Um, I have seen other like Supreme GE vents and um, like huggers and things like that. So they had a fair, fairly wide range of products that they made back in the day. And this is one that obviously has not shown up very often. Um, so this one, as you can clearly see, if you're familiar with, um, you know, ceiling fan models and everything, is a copy of the Casablanca Victorian, um, which in turn is a copy of the Emerson Fernleaf, the original like a uh, fern leaf vent uh, face plated uh, model by Emerson that came out in I think like the 1900s something like that it's a very old model I'd love to find one someday but uh I do have a, my Victorian right back there you can kind of see it I'll show it to you comparing the two in a minute but um this one funny thing this one is white and brass and my Victorian is also white and brass so I just thought that was kind of funny um so like they're the exact same finish but um this one there's some key differences between the Victorian and this model. Um, this one's got a very generic ball socket canopy that has the ribs around it, kind of like to imitate a, um, a hang true, a Casablanca hang true. But other, several other companies also use that design, so that's not a really like key characteristic. Um, the blades, it has stencil blades, as you can see. Um, and the blade arms are different. They are not the pretzel blade arms like Casablanca used on a lot of the Victorians. They're this sort of like, um, they're almost like the regular open crescent blade arm design without the supporting bars in the middle there. Um, I don't have one handy right now. Actually, oh, there's one over there on the other side of the camera, but I, I don't want to get up and move the camera over. Um, but uh, yeah, they have this uh, a generic more generic crescent blade arm shape um and the nose cap the ornate nose cap you can't really see it from here but it's actually almost identical to the Casablanca one they very very clearly just copied a Casablanca ornate Victorian nose cap um for this one and it also the um upper nose is kind of like it's not uh doesn't have that little sort of convex area I guess you would call it that sort of like curves upward it's just all squared off at the top, much like a original, the original Casablanca uh, nose is the models that they had. Um, so, this one is, it was made in, I don't know, I'm going to guess probably the early 80s, early to mid 80s. Um, it's probably a little bit later because it does have a three-speed click knob on it, um, not a variable speed knob, which Supreme originally used variable speed and I think like basically all their fans and then around like the early 80s switched it to a three-speed click knob um, which is what a majority of their fans use now this one the three-speed knob is actually broken i have it right here i took it apart and everything so you can see the inside but the shaft here that uh sticks out of the the part that you're actually supposed to turn is broken off so i had to replace it with a new one i just used like a lasco three-speed switch that i got off of the of a Lasco wind machine that I scrapped. Um, yeah, the motor in this one is cast aluminum. It's actually identical to the motor in my uh, Supreme Emperor Hugger. I think that one's like, I don't even remember what model that one is. Um, but it's the same exact motor, basically, um, made by Firebird. And it's also a similar motor that's used in my Supreme heater fan, the one that's rebranded by uh, South Pacific, although it's flat black. It's not that weird hammered texture. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to discuss about this fan. Uh, other than that, it's a very odd ball. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I think I, think I have the, the knob set to high, so 
The pull chain switch on here is actually, it is designed to go with a light kit. Um, it's like a three-way pull chain switch. So there's like one combination with the fan and the light, one with just the fan, one with just the light, and then off. So, but there's no light kit on it here. So it's just fan on, fan on, fan off, fan off. Um, yeah, so that's high. Yeah, that's high. Just a little bit of wobble. It's not that bad, actually. It's moving a good, good amount of air, actually. I'm impressed. Of course, the motor, the motor in this one, it doesn't take up the entire housing, but it takes up almost the entire housing, so it is rather large. I'm gonna hope that's medium. And you'll see why I say I hope in a minute. Okay, this, this was medium. So yeah, that is, it is like my, uh, my heater fan. It has a slow medium. That one also has a slow medium. But at least it's not wobbling anymore. And this one's motor is really quiet too. Very quiet motor. Which is surprising for this, uh, cast aluminum motor because the, uh, the one that's in my uh, Emperor Hugger, I mean, that one's also pretty quiet too, but there's a slight bit of hum from that one. This one is just completely dead silent. It's actually a rather nice medium speed on this one. Oops, I think I just hit the camera. Fix you guys there, sorry about that. I'm trying not to do that this time. Switch it down to low. So it's a pretty slow medium, but yet a pretty fast low. Interesting. This is definitely a functional low. It's still still moving up. Actually, fair fair good bit of air. Back up to high. And then spin down. Now actually the story behind how I got this one is kind of funny. Um, this one actually came from the same salvage store that I got the white R&M original reverse here with the isolation ring. It's like back in December, the end of the year. And um, there's a fan sale that's happening or that's been going on for the past like couple of months actually um, where every single fan is $9 on the rack. I got the original for $9, which was a great deal. Um, but I found this one, and then I got another fan that I'm actually giving to another fellow collector. I don't know if I'm going to do a video on it or not, because I'm not sure if anybody in my channel would be interested, but um, it's just something modern. Uh, but it was, they were listed as $25 on the price tag, but you know, there's a sale that's happening, obviously, so it's like, they're all $9. And the cash register guy charged me $25 for each of them, and I told him, I was like, hey, um, isn't there a sale going on? And he just kept saying, oh, well, that's what it says on the price tag, $25. So I just gave up and didn't argue with him. I should have, but um, 
I'm still a little upset about having to pay so much because they're supposed to be on sale, but, uh, yeah, um, I'm not too happy about that. And if I go back there again, I'm definitely going to complain, I think, because that was just not right. So this thing is still spinning. And the guy wasn't even, he wasn't even that nice about it. Like, at least the other guy that I bought the original from, who was like on the cashier, he was like, yeah, do you need any help with that? Was like, he was trying to help and everything, but this guy was just like, kind of arrogant. All right, and it has stopped, and it looks like there is maybe a little bit of stiffness, but I don't really see anything. So, um, flip the... Reverse switch. This time start on low. Actually have not tested it in reverse yet, so I'm interested to see if it's gonna wobble a lot. Probably as fast as it's going to get. Medium. Maybe. Yeah, it's picking up speed. I'm seeing a little bit of wobble already on medium, so it's definitely going to be worse. Very wobbly. Probably try balancing it if I get bored. Hmm. All right, so some up close details that you didn't see before. All over, its condition is, it's in not very good condition cosmetically. The uh, finish is a bit, uh, it's a bit tired, especially on the blade arms there. It's pitting, it's wearing away. The top is a little bit tarnished. And so is the canopy. The nose is missing a lot of paint. Um, I am planning on repainting uh, the nose here. Sideband, surprisingly, is in re pretty good condition. Um, but it's a completely plain sideband, which is also very interesting. And here are those odd blade arms. Um, they're not that odd, it's just just unusual. And then these stencil blades. Very bold stenciling, I love that. This pull chain is not an extension, this is all one length, which I think Supremes came like this, um, because my Emperor Hugger is also has a pull chain like this where it's all one length. Um, and then here's the switch. This is the brand new switch that I installed to replace the one that the shaft broke on. Um, I've, I don't know where what I'm going to do for a knob. I actually tried using the original knob that it came with for the Lasco box fan, this one right here. But uh, the issue with this one is if I put it on, the blade hits it right there, so it's way too big. But, oh, and then I'll show you the label on the top as well. It's right here. You can sort of see it, it's a little dark. Brighten it up for you guys, actually. Maybe. Well, I guess the brightness thing doesn't work while I'm recording. Um, okay, but it says Supreme Fan Mark 6 model JC5F-52. JC and it is rated at I know it says an RPM up there. It looks 200 RPMs on high, it looks like, and 40 RPMs on low. 
and there's some more voltage and other information there so yeah it's kind of hard to see sorry about that but uh and another interesting is look at how short that down rod it came with is actually when i first got it i thought it was missing the down rod because i know these aren't flush mountable because the screws for the canopy are on the bottom i was just like does that did, did they even sell that with it or did somebody cut it so i don't know but it works i guess for like people with low ceilings like me um and another interesting thing, I don't think the Emperor Hugger has this, but the end bell on the motor on this one sticks out a little bit into the motor housing. Um, I don't think, like I said, I don't think the Emperor Hugger has that where it sticks out like that. That's very interesting. So, um, I don't know what else there is I can say about this van. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you comparison to the Victorian right here. But you can see just how similar the design is. They even have that sort of little ornate pattern on the outside perimeter here, which they they carried over. And the design isn't all too different on the the faceplate. Just like I said, those blade arms are the one key difference. And then the nose cap, like I said, it's a very, eh, maybe not very similar design, but at least they got a similar like ornate styling there. So. Yeah, so that is about it. Oh, and then the reverse switch, like all Supremes, has this little indicator here where it says air, and then an arrow pointing downward. And perfect timing, as the furnace has just turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Um, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.